coffee that just tastes watery and you're wondering why. Maybe you made it at home, maybe you got it in a cafe, and the chances are that it was made poorly. But there might be a few factors that you don't know about and I can help you work them out. I'm Ride, your Chief Espresso Officer, and today I'm gonna answer why is my coffee watery. There's a few different reasons why your coffee may be tasting watery, but the most common one would be that your coffee to milk or water ratio isn't correct. Now, I'm talking about two different ratios here. There's the one where you're having the shot to your milk, or if you're having a long black, to your water. That ratio should be about 30 mils to, or close to one ounce in an eight ounce cup. So a seven to one ratio. If you're going to go to a 12 ounce, I would recommend you do two ounces of coffee or two shots of coffee. But the other is your coffee to water ratio that happens in the basket. Now it might seem like an obvious thing, the water to coffee ratio in the basket, but can you tell me off the top of your head what the ratio should be from the coffee to the water coming out. Now I'm guessing from you that you're watching this video that you probably don't know it's two to one. That means one lot of coffee, two lots of water. Now, this is a BST basket and it's 20 grams to the rim. So I wanna put 20 grams of ground coffee in there and extract 40 or close to 40 mils of coffee liquid out of that. Okay, so what I see happen all the time is that people put a random amount of coffee into their basket without really understanding what it's supposed to be. So maybe half filled up like that. And then I tamp that down. Seems all right. I'm gonna put it into a you know, huge tumbler like this and look at this shot. There's so many things going wrong with that shot right there. It's gushing out, it means the coffee's too coarse. There isn't enough coffee in there to begin with. It's basically just water and it just runs up. Right, look at the puck there. It looks all right at first glance perhaps, when you stick your finger in, it's just a soggy mess. And that is not what you want out of your puck. So clearly not enough coffee in that one. If I slowed that down and run it back for you, you'll see it's basically just water. There's not a lot of oils in there. Now my dad used to go one better and he used to have that shot and then do it again and run more coffee out of there. Look at that, it's awful, but he thought no, no, I'm just getting all of that last bit of coffee out. That's why I need to do that. You slow that down, it just looks like water. But that's what he liked. He thought he was getting the most coffee out of his extraction. That's a long, long, long black. So if you're looking at that shot and you're thinking, yeah, that looks about right. That's sort of what my shots look like. Sort of pouring out to the side, filling up half the glass. Well, look, if you enjoy it, that's fine. But if you want to get the best taste out of your extraction, then let me give you a couple of tips. So if you found that useful and you want to take your home barista skills right up to the next level, then jump onto my website, ultimatebaristacourse.com, where you can purchase the entire course and find out all of my best secrets that I want to share with you about how to become the ultimate home barista.